Today's idea sounds like science fiction, but it's very real and very powerful. Synesthesia simulation, the act of blending your senses to boost memory retention. It's inspired by people with synesthesia, a neurological condition where senses naturally overlap, like seeing colours when hearing sounds or tasting shapes, that kind of thing. But here's the twist. Even if you don't have synesthesia, you can simulate it. And your memory will thank you for it. So quickly going around the science, we are in a short after all. Synesthesia is a cross wiring of sensory areas in the brain. For example, a person might see the letter A and always experience it as red, or hear a piano note and feel the texture of velvet. Memory, this is gold. Why? Because the more senses you involve, the more neural pathways light up and the easier it is to recall. It's like giving your memory multiple handles to grab the same idea. While most of us don't naturally have synesthesia, we can fake it on purpose. And that's the technique. So here's how we do it. Use multi-sensory encoding. Don't just visualize the word fire. Hear the crackle, feel the heat, smell the smoke. The more senses you simulate, the stronger the trace. Assign sensory qualities to abstract things. Let's say you want to remember the number seven. Make it green. Make it cold. Give it the sound of glass breaking. It might sound strange, but your brain loves strange. Unique is probably the better word. That weirdness is what makes it memorable. Link senses together. If you want to memorize a list, assign each item a flavor and a shape. Bread can be a soft beige square, or music can be a sticky black spiral, or confidence can be a silver metal taste, sharp edges, that kind of thing. The brain doesn't forget vivid, sensory-rich experiences, even imaginings. So here is your challenge. Pick five abstract concepts like courage, or strategy, or focus, and then simulate synesthesia. What? What colour are they? What sound do they make? Texture or shape or taste do they have? Make it weird, make it personal, then recall them tomorrow and see how fast they come back. This isn't just memory, this is neurosensory design, turning your mind into a rich cross-sensory archive. Because when your memory is rooted in sight, sound, taste, touch and emotion, you're not just remembering, you're experiencing knowledge. See you tomorrow.